Hi, uh, we've received the notification for CAT 2015. There have been quite a few changes. I'm going to discuss what the changes are and how it impacts preparation. Right? First up, exam is going to be on November 29th over a single day, two sessions. Uh, the exam is going to be spread over three sections instead of two. We're going to have watertight time limits for each of the sections. Now, each section goes for 60 minutes, accounting for an overall 180 minutes. But remember, this is three sections of 60 minutes each. Right? We're going to have an on-screen calculator present, which is going to help uh, some parts of the exam which is going to be available for some parts of the exam. Right? These are broadly the most important changes that are there that have been introduced. How does this impact preparation or how does this impact test taking? I'm right? going to focus on only two of these things. Those are the most important. The, the timing going from 170 to 180 is not such a big deal, but being three 60 minute containers, that is very vital. Right? Now, usually in CAT, whenever we have had an overall time limit, people had the luxury of shifting time from one section to another. The, the quant strong person could finish quant and spend more time in verbal, all of that. Right? Now, this is you're practically taking three 60 minute exams. Right? The, the initial temptation is to say, look, they're taking the freedom of timing from, from the students. But I've taken exam on both formats. I can tell you this is a boon. This is a wonderful thing. You don't have to worry about section cutoffs. You don't have to worry about navigating from one section to another. You don't have to function under the pressure of creating balance across the three sections or two sections. That whole scheme is out. There will definitely be section cutoffs. But the key thing here, I can't really manage how I do my section. So think of it as three exams of one hour each. That aspect of decision making being taken out of the plate is brilliant. It's frightfully useful. It is, it is a big positive. They've simplified the exam. Right. Next, the presence of on-screen calculator. This again is very useful. They made the exam easier. CAT has never been about computation and computation speed, but it's something that uh, the student base refused to accept. Now, they're thrusting down our throat that it's not about how quickly you can multiply and divide. If you really want to multiply three numbers and divide by four numbers, then you're, you have a calculator present for it. Right? In one sense, there's also a double-edged sword. You'll have to keep in mind that just because a calculator is present, you shouldn't continuously go there because that takes away the intuition of solving any question, any problem. As much as possible, the numbers are simple enough, do it manually. For the really tricky ones in data interpretation, use the calculator. How else does this change the exam planning part? How am I going to plan my section? In the two-section format, you always had some place to hide. It's a very, very vital point, very often overlooked. I know lots of students who look at the verbal section or who used to look at the verbal section and say, look, there's RC, LR, and this other mixed bag. I'm not really good at RC. If I get 15 out of 16 in LR, I'm in a good place. They used to go in thinking of having a strategy which is heavily LR dependent. In the quant and DI section, people used to have a hip strategy heavily quant dependent and in some rare cases, DI dependent. Fine. Now they're removing that. You, you cannot afford to have a giant weakness. You can go to the exam and say, look, I don't really like sentence elimination or I don't really like trigonometry, but you can't go and saying data interpretation, I'm not doing it. It puts enormous pressure if you, if you remove one big chunk because data interpretation is half a section as opposed to being just one third of a section. Right? So that shift is significant. So now that puts more pressure on the three bulk groups on RC, DI, LR. You cannot go into the exam thinking one of these three is a big weakness. It's impossible. That will tank the score. You have to be at least decent in each of the three and maybe one or two where you're really good at. Right? Specifically for the data interpretation logical reasoning section, it used to be the section which people never used to really prepare for. And you worried about quant, you're worrying about reading, but you don't really care about DI and LR. It cannot happen because a good score in that section can just take your overall score much higher. So it is probably a good time to say, look, DI LR is now a standalone section all on its own. So you should spend some more time preparing for it. Now, why have they done this and what is the basis for this? What is the plan underlying it? Forget about all that. And so we don't really need to worry about the reasons the IMs might have thought of for making these changes. See how it impacts preparation, give it a go. And this is not a new thing. The, the CAT became a two-section CAT only two years ago. For a long time, we used to have three or sometimes even more sections. And so it, they, they, they accommodated DI within quant and LR within verbal. They're probably not very natural fits, especially logical reasoning sitting inside the verbal section is not, not very uh, contiguous. So there is no, there was, there was no great reason to have a two section exam. We've come back to the format of a three section exam. There's no giant underlying scheme underneath it. 
one final point that I missed out. The number of questions, even though the number of questions is still 100 and the breakup is broadly the same, there are going to be few questions where you can enter the answers, where you can say the answer is a 2.3 or a 32 instead of just writing choices. Right? It is still an objective exam, but it's no longer a completely multiple choice question exam. Right? The, the, the gut feel, my gut feel is you will not have any of these enter the answer questions in verbal or, or LR. It's going to be for quant or DI. It's not going to change things dramatically. They're going to take away the opportunity or, or the option of gaming the answer through the choices. It will probably there for five or six questions, not more than that. Doesn't change anything at all. All the best for your exam. Hope you have a good go at it.